So with the announcement and the release of the iPhone 14 models, the most popular iPhone 14 model that will be sold will be the iPhone 14 Pro Max. In previous years, like the iPhone 13 Pro Max that I've got here and the iPhone 12 Pro Max a year before that, it was the most popular iPhone out there. So it's definitely gonna be the same for this year. So what I want to do today is I want to help you guys with this iPhone 14 Pro Max upgrade guide to help you decide if you should be getting yourself an iPhone 14 Pro Max at this stage and there's a good reason why you should be upgrading and there are other reasons why you shouldn't be upgrading and without further ado guys let me first of all explain to you why you should be upgrading to an iPhone 14 Pro Max and what type of user should be doing that now what I would say is anybody who is on an iPhone 7 and below as you may be aware or you may not be aware is that iOS 16 is no longer compatible on your phone so if you own yourself say an iPhone 6 a 6s if you own yourself the first First generation iPhone SE or any of the iPhone 7 models, you will not be getting iOS 16 this year. That's it. Your phone's not officially out of support, but you won't be getting sort of regular updates to protect your iPhone and getting new extra features. So just like me here, this was one of my favorite iPhones has been. This was the iPhone 7 Plus. And this is gorgeous. I love this uh, special sort of jet black effect they did. It's very fingerprint sticky at the time. But for example, I own one of these and I would say if you guys have got one of these phones or if you've got yourself say an iPhone 6s or if you've got yourself an iPhone 6 then I would definitely say you are a person right now who needs to do an upgrade and specifically if you've got like the plus model like I have right here you'll be wanting a larger display and you're probably wanting the best of the best at the end of the day the 7 plus had this dual camera ability it was the first iPhone to have dual camera I would be saying for you yeah you should be upgrading right away because your phone no longer is is supported so that's a good reason straight away the next type of users I would say should be upgrading their iPhones are the next sort of generation after the iPhone 7. So I'm talking about people who've got themselves say like this, an iPhone 10 or an iPhone X. Again, it is a great phone. And as you can see here, it is running iOS 16. So it is fully compatible to run that. But this is getting a bit old now. The chipset's a little bit old. And to be honest, I would say I would be upgrading this. I'd be upgrading this to an iPhone 14 range. You're gonna get lots of benefits. So for example, this has only got a 60 hertz display refresh rate on this. The battery life is not as good and it's probably worn down in your phone too. You also get far better cameras on the back and also the front and the chipset is going to be super fast for you. You're going to see a massive difference if you decided to pick a iPhone 14 Pro Max say, over this phone. And I would also say that comes true as well to this phone too. And this is the iPhone 10R. This came out like a year later and the iPhone 10X as well, the 10X Max as well, it was a little bit larger than this one. I would say you should be upgrading definitely because it is something you're gonna see some big, big changes. The camera, battery life, everything. You're gonna get an OLED display. If you've got yourself an iPhone 10R, for example, you're gonna be changing from an LCD. You will see some massive upgrades. So I definitely pick on getting that. The other thing I would also say is if you've got the first generation iPhone SE, like you've got here, this is the one that came out in 2020. I know it's only two years ago, but it did come with an iPhone 11 chipset inside it. And to be honest, if you can afford to upgrade, maybe you should be able to trade it in. If you do have that money right there, yeah, do it. But if you are looking to get yourself, say, the next generation iPhone SE, probably would say no, stick with this phone right now. It's basic, it does the trick, and that's what this phone is all about. And speaking of which, about the A13 chipset, that chipset is also shared in, say, the likes of the iPhone 11. And to be honest, the iPhone 11 range is the bit where it's a little bit 50-50 if you should be upgrading, or it should be, you know, a definite upgrade. I would say if you've got an iPhone 11 standard, and uh, this is the one that basically came with the dual camera on the back and the LCD sort of screen, yeah, I would definitely be upgrading to an iPhone 14 model and the iPhone 14 Pro Max might be a good option for you out there. But what I would say is if you've got yourself, say, an iPhone 11 Pro Max or an 11 Pro, this is where it's probably a little bit more 50-50. The 11 Pro Max and the 11 Pro are still great 
iPhones out there and the cameras are really, really good. And the main sort of benefits you're gonna get if you've got yourself a 14 Pro Max is you're gonna be getting yourself that new dynamic island. Most importantly, I would probably say you're gonna get pro motion up to 120 hertz and down to one hertz. And also the cameras as well will be a little bit more enhanced than what you've got right now. You will be able to see a difference, especially say in nighttime photography on that. After this, you've got the next generations of iPhones. So then guys, this channel just got over 450,000 subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And I gave away a MacBook Pro M1 Pro 14 inch model. And do check out my video on my channel to see who the winner was for that. But guys, we're doing another giveaway this time. And this time it's gonna be for three prizes. And those three prizes are gonna go to three lucky winners. And that is when we get over half a million subscribers. 500,000 subscribers because it's such a big milestone and I want to give something back to you guys and I can show you today what those prizes are. The first prize is going to be a MacBook Pro M1 Pro just like this one here. It's another one I'm going to be giving away. I'll put that to one side. The next prize is going to be an M2 MacBook Air and I'm going to be giving this away as well and then finally at the time of making this video I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max on order, it's a 512 gigabyte one in the new purple color and I'm also going to be giving that away when we get over 500,000 subscribers. And all you have to do to enter into this competition is just write down in the comments below of what technology you're planning to buy in 2022. If it's Apple tech or other tech, I'd love to know. Put it down in the comments below. And also, if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because when we get over 500,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing who the winner is via video on this channel. Just quickly one last thing guys, there are a lot of spammers and scammers out there telling you that you've won the prize like the MacBook Air and also the MacBook Pro 2. Please do ignore them or more importantly, please do report them because they're telling you to telegram you or to telegram them or to WhatsApp them. And this is not me at all. And they're like charging you $100 for shipping fee. It is not me at all. Please do ignore them. Or like I said, more importantly, do report them. Well guys, with that out of the way, let's return back to the video. So next of all guys, let's talk about this next generations of iPhones and this is including the iPhone 12 models. So in my honest opinion, the iPhone 12, if you've got yourself say an iPhone 12 normal, an iPhone 12 mini, and you want to get yourself a larger pro model, yeah, I'd probably actually option to say more likely than not, do upgrade to an iPhone 14 Pro or an iPhone 14 Pro Max. You will see some changes there, especially if you've come from two camera lenses, you'll be upgrading to a triple camera lens, and also that nighttime photography and your battery life, most importantly, will be definitely, definitely be better. But then say if you've got yourself an iPhone 12 Pro Max, or even I would say if you've got yourself an iPhone 13 Pro Max, like this one right here, this is where I get a little bit on the fence if you should be upgrading at all. Now, I would say to you that one of the big differences between the iPhone 12 Pro Max to the iPhone 14 Pro Max is definitely Pro Motion. You're definitely going to see a big change there. And also, battery life is definitely going to be better for you. And the front display is gonna have that new dynamic island that we can see right here. But all in all, that is probably gonna be the major differences. Yes, the cameras on the back of the iPhone 14 Pro Max do let in more light. Yes, they are better. The sensor is bigger with that 48 megapixel on the wide. But at the end of the day, if you've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max right now and you've been taking photos on it, you will know your photos are absolutely amazing. And they will be for many years to come. And I think, to be honest, that jump to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you will see a slight difference in sort of your kind of camera quality. But to be honest, you'd have to get the two photos side by side and analyze them together to actually notice any difference. So this is why I'm a little bit more on the fence. If you are in the contract though, and you are due an upgrade, yeah, go ahead and get yourself an iPhone 14 Pro Max. That is one thing I would definitely say. And then this leads me on to the iPhone 13 range. To be honest, this is where things change quite a bit. And I would actually honestly say, if you've got an iPhone 13 model, any of them, 
I wouldn't be upgrading personally, unless I'd say, except for if you've got an iPhone 13 mini phone and you just want a larger screen phone, yeah, you might as well go and get yourself a iPhone 14 model like the iPhone 14 Plus or even the Pro Max. But then having said that, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is still a great phone. And that leads me on to what I'm gonna talk about. The iPhone 13 Pro Max and the 14 Pro Max, the chipsets inside them, one might be A15 Bionic, one may be A16 Bionic. But what we've seen from benchmarks, the main difference is to do with efficiency. So the chipset is more efficient, giving you better battery life and better sort of that always on display. And that talks about some of the features that you will be getting with the iPhone 14 Pro Max over a 13 Pro Max. And that is you will get that always on display. You will also get yourself slightly better cameras, what I've just talked about. But again, you'd have to stick them next to each other to actually see a comparison difference between them. And like I said, the 13 Pro Max has been taking great photos. I've had this all year and it's taken some amazing photos and videos for me there's not going to be much difference also if you are a geek and you love dynamic island the idea of it yeah it could be worth upgrading for that or you might as well just wait out another year or two to get another iphone because dynamic island is going to be sticking around so my honest opinion i would say if you've got an iphone 13 model right now Personally, I wouldn't be upgrading unless you really, really want to and you're absolutely made of money, for example. Apart from that, I would be upgrading. And that's it, guys. I hope that this guide has helped you out in picking an iPhone 14 Pro Max if it is right for you. Let me know, know down in the comments below if you're thinking of choosing one. And on that note as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And at the same time as well, if you want the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, follow by that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Bye-bye.